Rotodaron is a reverse rotation tiller, tills the ground, processes the soil, screens out, and buries debris. Now, how does it do that? As the tiller is rotating, the patented unique forward-facing angle down blades draw the soils up into the processing chamber. The soils are tilled and pulverized and then thrown out the rear of the machine where they contact the screening tines. Any debris, say a rock, size your fist, hits these screening tines, can't get out of the machine. It bounces back into the processing chamber down into the bottom of the cut where that material is buried by the loose material that comes through the screening tine. And then with this deflector bar, this can be adjusted to come along and smooth off the screen finds on the surface. And then the roller wheel here carries the weight of the machine. It's also the depth control mechanism, but by carrying the weight of the machine, it also provides some compaction and you get a really nice seed bed. With the Rotodaron, the prep work is lessened and the post work is lessened. I can't tell you how many thousands of hours Roger and I have with an aluminum rake in our hand doing all of the post work after we've tried with other machines, maybe multiple machines, Rotodaron, you don't have to do that. One guy with the Rotodaron can do 4,000 square feet an hour versus eight guys with rakes doing 4,000 square feet an hour. Just imagine the labor savings. You're, you're basically eliminating the need for multiple machines and you're eliminating handwork. That's where you get all your money savings. Rotodaron has been building these reverse rotation tillers since 1958. Uh, they make multiple models ranging in size from 24 inches in work width all the way up to 14 feet uh, in versions that we, we call the compact units. Uh, skidster units or hydraulically driven units, but the PTO driven units for tractors. Uh, we have the compact units, we have the standard duty units. Uh, this is a model RD150, it's considered a standard duty unit. And then we have the heavy duty units and the super heavy duty units. Now uh, those are used in uh, agricultural applications, golf course construction, etc. I mean, th those range up to uh, 14 feet. This is a standard duty unit. It is a model RD150. It's a 60 inch work width, six and a half inch work depth, and it's capable of tilling ground with, uh, oh, up to five, six inch rocks. You won't even know they're there, other than they clank around a little. People ask, I have rocks, what kind of a machine should I use? Well, it depends on the size of rocks you're processing. So if you have rocks this size, I'd say use a compact or subcontract packed unit or, or larger. If you have uh, rocks this size, I'd say use a compact or a standard duty unit. And if you have uh, rocks uh, this size here, I would say use a heavy-duty agricultural unit. Let's go over some of the features of the Rotodaron. All of the machines have these features. Uh, for starters, the patented blades on these make the Rotodaron unique in that the blades are angled forward and down so that that is your cutting point right there, okay? And because the back side of the blade does not follow the cutting point, 
There is no soil glazing or soil compaction by the blade that you would get on a conventional tiller. A lot of times when you're tilling, sometimes you get some glazing. Uh, it disrupts root development and water drainage, but you don't get that with these blades. As the soil is being drawn up into the machine, there's a metering bar here that meters how big a material that can actually be brought into the machine. So you're not going to get a giant rock brought into the machine and lock this thing up. The whole unit is made out of high strength steel. It's thinner, but it's stronger than you would find on a lot of conventional tillers. Uh, the processing chamber is a double wall constructed of high strength steel. Uh, that does two things. It, it, it adds to strength and rigidity of the machine. It also deflects the material that's brought up inside the processing chamber back down into the rotating blades to ensure that everything is processed. Now if you want to just till and you don't want to roll or grade or screen debris, with this mechanism moved out of the way, you can just use the machine as a regular tiller. It'll just till the soil. It, it, it won't be screening out debris. It won't be rolling, uh, grading the debris, and it won't be packing and rolling the debris. There are some machines that are driven by uh, power units that are small, and they may not have the horsepower or the lift capacity to operate a bigger machine. So Rotodaron solved that problem with what's called a working offset. So I'm going to explain. This is a model RD145. Its overall work width is 60 inches. The center of that unit is right here. So when centered behind your tractor, 32 inches of the working width is off to one side. So this unit could be run behind a tractor as wide as 64 inches and it would still till and cover up that right tire track. Another feature of the Rotodaron is this roller wheel cage that can slide left or right depending on if you're tilling next to an object and you need to move the wheel or you're getting it on a trailer. Under normal circumstances, however, we typically recommend that you rototill with the wheel as far off to this side as possible and what you're going to get is the tractor is out in front of you you can notice here that the tiller is offset to the right of center so the center of the tractor is right here your tractor tire is right here the rotodaron is tilling and wiping out that tractor tire and then the roller wheel is slightly further over and it rolls on the previous pass and then by doing it that way you can just erase your previous passes and you don't leave any tractor tire wheels in your landscaping. If all you need is a really cheap rototiller that doesn't do anything else but rototill, then just buy a cheap one. But if you want a machine that's commercial quality, heavy duty, that does more than rototilling and does all these things for you. Rotodaron is definitely worth the price.